If you're just getting into running, you might be wondering what type of shoes will be best for you. The options are endless. Should you get cross-training shoes, running shoes, both? Not to worry. In this short video, we'll explain the differences between cross-trainers and running shoes and describe when each type of shoe should be used. Then, you can take that information and purchase the best shoe or shoes for you. Now, let us start the video. differences between running or shoes. What are running SHOS, designed for heel-to-toe movement? Running shoes normally have a higher heel drop, giving them added cushioning and support in the heel and midfoot. Because running is a high-impact activity, you are hitting the ground with three times your body weight. Running shoes are built to be shock absorbent. In addition, running shoes tend to be very light because nobody wants to be lifting extra weight, even if just an ounce, over and over again while running. Those extra ounces very quickly add up to extra pounds, and over the course of a run, where you might take 7,000 or 8,000 steps or more. Extra weight translates to fatigue. Running shoes also have smooth tread because traction really isn't an issue for runners. They almost always are moving straight ahead. Running shoes are made with a greater amount of mesh than cross trainers because the heat generated from running is greater than from a gym workout, and you want to make sure that your feet stay cool and dry during your run. Proper fit is incredibly important with running shoes. Since shoes are specifically designed for various stride patterns, with a foot, and more, you will want to make sure that a running shoe fits your foot before pounding the pavement for hundreds of miles. What are Crow's S training or shoes? Designed for multi-directional movement in a wider range of motion. Cross training shoes have a flatter sole than running shoes, which makes them more flexible. Cross training shoes are meant to be a decent all-purpose fitness shoe for use in a number of activities, from basketball to zumba to lifting weights. Whereas running shoes are designed to absorb shock on your heels, cross-training shoes have more cushioning in the forefoot, protecting you when you land on your toes. They are firmer, making them better for weight training and making exercises like squats easier. Compared to running shoes, the soles of cross-trainers are wider, tend to expand beyond the width of the upper part of the shoe. This extra support is needed for increased lateral movements such as the sharp to the you make on a basketball court. Finally, Cross trainers are made of different material that is usually stronger than they use for running shoes, which makes cross training shoes more able to withstand the tough workouts that often come with cross training. Which made the way? Can you use running or shoes for Crow's S training? Theoretically, yes, you can use running shoes for cross training, but it might be at risk to yourself. For example, your running shoes will compress when you lift weights, which could make you unstable. Obviously, you don't want to find yourself in that position. Similarly, Running shoes are designed for heel-to-toe movement, not lateral movement. So if you're in a gym class where you're expected to move side-to-side -side frequently and quickly, you might find your running shoes to be a little sluggish. Finally, if you use your running shoes for cross-training, they will wear out faster, and you won't get the full use of 500 miles of running. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.